Asus and Noctua have first teamed up to create a custom RTX 3070, but now they have released a new card which we see how it fares with this Asus Noctua RTX 3080 OC review. It aims to improve upon the most popular graphics card, with the promise of better and quieter cooling although at a much bigger size coming in at over 4 slots. The new card brings the Noctua aesthetics to the graphics card world. Coming in a beefy box with a handle it feels almost like a briefcase for your new graphics card. The massive box was built to hold the massive size of the Noctua 3080. Its dimensions are 310x144.8x87.5 mm which puts it at a whopping 4.3 slots. So it's no surprise it needs such a hefty box to carry it. The Noctua version is based upon Asus TUF model but improves upon the original design, with an enlarged copper base plate to cover a wider area including the VRAM as well as the die itself for better performance overall by keeping temperatures under wraps, along with a bigger heatsink for a greater thermal density, which are then helped out by two Noctua NF Avalvex 25 fans instead of the stock 390 Toon fan. The superior fans are more optimized for better airflow and static pressure characteristics, which does give the card lower GPU and VRAM temperatures while running quieter than the original TUF, promising an improvement of 4.5 dB, 3DX CGPU, and 14 deg C in VRAM over the previous off. The Noctua 3080 is based upon the 10 GB version of the GPU, which is the older version with 10 GB of GDDR6. Across a 320 bit memory interface, it is clocked at 19 Gbps, giving it a bandwidth of 760.3 GB, with the majority of the card specs cut the same. It does offer an overclocked engine clock, with a boost clock of up to 1815 MHz which is what 8704 CUDA cores can potentially run at. It also has four maximum displays and five ports, two of which are HDMI 2.1 and three DisplayPort 1.4. It does only use two 8-pin power connectors with a recommended power supply of 850W. The cooling solution utilized is based upon the Asus TUF model. This increases the heatsink's width to 120.50 mm, the height to 42.20 mm, and the depth to 94 mm, along with an increased copper base plate size to include the memory chips as well for improved thermals, which is also supported by two NF Apple Vex 25 120 fan for optimized airflow through the heatsink to dispel all the heat. We compare the use of the Asus Noctua RTX 3080 VS and MSI Gaming X Trio RTX 3000. Looking in particular at the core temperatures the cards achieved, the frequency they ran at, and the fan speeds. Using benchmarks and stress testing we see how well the cards perform under the biggest pressure. From the results of the two cards, we see the same GPU clock utilization and power usage. This is from one minute before a 10 minute for mark run and one minute after. Although not perfectly aligned it shows as to the relative behaviors of the two. The two cards have the same overclock on them so we do see the frequency between the two stay the same. With a steady rate of around 1500 MHz during the test and peaking to near 2000 MHz upon finishing. Then we see the fan RPM with the Noctua. A much more aggressive response jumps to 1369 RPM whilst the MSI jumps to around 800-900 RPM, whilst the brown fans ramp down and average around 1100 RPM, with MSI peaking at 1366 RPM and averaging around that same speed. We can also see the power draw of the two cards. Both peaked at 340W, about 20W higher than the TDP of the 3080, and the MSI GPU is capable of more power from more power connectors it uses. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Keep watching and stay with us subscribing to this channel. Have a great day.